It's time for Donkey of the Day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey man, <laughs> hit me with the heat. Uh, Did she get donkey in the day? Please tell absolutely. me. Absolutely. I have become donkey of the day. It's the breakfast club, bitches. You're a donkey. Yeah, it's donkey today for Thursday, October 18th. Goes to a Caucasian woman who the internet has unaffectionately named golf cart gale. Uh, the mayonnaise is heavy in this one. Uh, as he puts his oh, mayonnaise about it. jar up. Mayonnaise is heavy on this one. Now, this happened in Florida, uh, but this isn't an example of the craziness of Florida. This is just an example of good old American racism. Oh, what would America be without racism? You know, it's so interesting because every day on my Twitter and Instagram, I get so many people saying, all you talk about is race, Charlemagne. Everything is not a race issue. And I will tell you all, that is a fact, okay? Everything is not a matter of race. But the racial things I talk about on this radio are about race. So let's talk about these issues and not about everything, okay? Stop trying to deflect. Back to the matter of hand. See, what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is another white-collar criminal, okay? What is a white-collar criminal? A white person who calls the police on a black person for absolutely nothing, for simply living while black, all right? The reason I call them a criminal is because it should be a crime for a white person to call the police on a black person for nothing. Because for us, any interaction with the police is literally a matter of life and death. And in this latest edition of White Collar Crime, this woman, Golf Cart Gale, called the police on a black man simply because the black man was instructing his son from the sidelines of a soccer game. I repeat, this white woman, Golf Cart Gale, called the police on a black man simply because the black man was instructing his son from the sidelines of a soccer game. Let's go to NBC News for the report, please. It's the latest encounter of questionable behavior. A field marshal at a youth soccer game calling 911 after she says parents got out of hand, including this father who yelled instructions to his son during the match. Gerald Jones says he was profiled and singled out after another parent became unruly. She's calling the cops After the everybody. confrontation went viral, league officials said the marshal was doing her job. I have parents that are uh, out of control and need to be removed from a youth soccer game. Some say this is another example of police being called on African Americans for doing the mundane. Back in Florida, soccer officials insist the field marshal acted appropriately and without malice. The video, they say, is an incomplete narrative, but it's a narrative many say they live every day. Now we have a white eye witness, right? We have a white eye witness. Mm -hmm. Played a white eye. Played a white eye witness who saw the whole thing. This <laughs> is a this is a good white person who witnessed. This. Oh, we don't have that in there. Yeah, played a white eye witness. This is a good white person. Well, I've I've never in my life seen anything like this. Exactly. I felt that this woman sat there on her cart and was a very intimidating presence. She herself. Hey, good call. Yeah, hauling at the reps. It was a non-issue until it was a parent or somebody else. So she's sitting there just waiting and creating tension and to sit and follow this man out when he said, hey, I'm going to leave. I don't want an issue. So why she felt it was necessary when he voluntarily left of his own accord, yeah, I mean, she felt was, I'm still going to call the cops on you. Round of applause for that white eyewitness. All right. She doesn't like mayonnaise either. Okay, listen, Internet, uh, let me give you some ideas. I'm old. So I grew up in the era of Garbage Pail Kids, all right? You know what the Garbage Pail Kids trading cards were? All right, they had names like Junk Food John, okay, Raid Decay, Booze and Bruce. They were just a bunch of disgusting-looking, gross, repugnant, vile-looking kids. They were visual representations of what bigotry looks like. So I feel that the Internet need to recreate these, all right? We can do digital trading cards and call them Garbage Pail Crackers. Cracker ass, cracker! All right, now once again, I use that term because that's what I call racist bigots, all right? Not all white people, just racist bigots. And if you are more mad at me using that term, then you are probably a bigot and a racist too, all right? Too much goddamn man, eh? Right? <laughs> okay, all right? Now we can remake these digital trading cards, call them garbage pail crackers, it's perfect, all right? Because racism is trash, bigotry is garbage, and we have golf cart gale, all right? Barbecue Becky. Hallway Hillary, Cornerstone Caroline. We can immortalize these people forever. We can have we can we can have ranks for their racism and bigotry. All right, we can have a racist rookie of the year card. We can have yeah. we can have the MVC, most volatile cracker. All right, this can be a thing because the only thing that will stop these white collar criminals is public embarrassment. All right, all racists and bigots should be called out and publicly shamed. Please let Kathy Griffin do the honors. Please give this giant jar of mail the biggest hee-haw. Okay, as Charlemagne has the mayonnaise on his head. 
Okay. Seems like he white, likes white stuff on his head. Charlemagne the God here, and today's Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoft. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey. 